welcome back to today's video. So today we are going to be doing another BoxyCharm unboxing. So we are officially in March, which is so crazy. And I cannot believe we are already opening up another BoxyCharm. I feel like I say that every month, but the time is just going by so quickly. And I am really excited to dive into this box and see what's inside. You guys know I do not look at any sneak peeks or anything like that. I really want it to be a surprise for me and you guys on camera. If you're not subscribed yet to my channel, I hope you will. It is the red button down below. You can also tap the little notification bell so you'll get notified on your phone and email when I upload a new video because I upload tons of videos every single week for you guys. So let's get on into the unboxing and see what is in the March box. BoxyCharm before, which I'm sure you have, but by any chance you haven't, it is a monthly beauty subscription service where you get full size product. So the box is $25 a month and usually the value of the box is pretty high, say like $150, usually $150 to $175 from what I've seen. If you guys are interested in signing up, I do have an affiliate link down below and that's always in my description box. If you guys want to test out BoxyCharm, sign up see what you think. You can always test it out for a month or two. And if you don't like it, you can unsubscribe. But I have found that I've gotten really good stuff in my boxes, especially in 2020. And I end up using a lot of the products that I get from the box, which is really great. I said no spoilers. I do not know anything that's in this box. I don't know the theme. Thank you so much as always to BoxyCharm for sending me this box so I could open it for you guys. I'm not getting paid for this review. I do get a small commission if you guys use my link. And I so appreciate it when you guys do use my links. So thank you. I'm not going to look. If you guys watch my videos, you know I just kind of reach my hand in, pull out the product, and it's just like a fun surprise. I'm going to put the little pamphlet over there. First product. Oh, it is a wet brush cleaning system. This is interesting. I actually thought it was a primer, like one of the uh, pore filling primers, but this is what it is. It's a wet brush cleaning system with a silicone scrubbing pad by the brand Lavish. I did actually need something new to clean my brushes because I really don't have anything right now to clean my brushes. I don't even have my like bar of soap that I usually use. So this says it's a convenient brush cleaning system to quickly and easily remove makeup from cosmetic brushes. So let's look at this. I feel like it might just be like a, is it a soap? Okay, that's pretty cool. So this right here is a soap. And then on the other side, it's just a little silicone brush. Put the brush under water, put it in the soap, and then you clean the brush on the silicone pad, which I think is pretty cool. I've never seen it set up like this before. Usually you have like your separate pad for your brush. Like I have the one from Sigma. So it's pretty neat that they put them together. I think that's really clever. So I will definitely be using this. I need to clean tons of my brushes and I will use this for sure. Okay, next product. Let's reach inside. Find the small thing first and then go for the big stuff. Is this a mascara? I was right, oh my goodness. Okay, this is the newer Too Faced Mascara. This is Damn Girl. And it's a 24 hour mascara for shamelessly thick and curled lashes. You guys, this is so crazy. I have been like on mascara overload. Like I have 10 new mascaras on my desk back here that I've been testing every day. I feel like I've just gotten so many mascaras recently. So I do not need to buy a single mascara this year. I have so many. It's crazy. I'm never going to make it through all of them. So I have definitely been wanting to try out this mascara and see how it compares to their other ones. Um, and the brush looks pretty, pretty chunky. So let's see. Oh, the packaging is super pretty. It's like a really cool, like diamondy packaging. Let's look at the brush. Oh yeah. It's chunky. Like it's like a little figure eight. I'm really curious to try this out. It is a natural bristle wand. Sometimes when the brush is too big, it almost like doesn't curl and grip onto my lashes. So I will definitely test this out and see. I pretty can I can judge pretty quickly how much I love a mascara by like the first few swipes. But that is awesome that this was in the box. I think that's a really good one. This product, we have product number three. Tab lip oil. Okay, I think, yes, we had another product from them, lipstick or a lip gloss. This is from, uh, I'm like forgetting their names. They're from The Real Housewives and it's the mother and daughter, Kim, Ariana, and Brielle. Yeah, I. it's a mother and then the two daughters. 
so I haven't watched that show in forever. So this is their lip oil. Oh, this is fun. This is in blue raspberry. I find myself reaching for these a lot during the day, like when I'm just sitting at my desk editing and doing whatever I'm doing over here on my computer. I always find myself going into my draw, picking up a lip oil and just putting it on during the day because I find them to be just like quick and easy and decently moisturizing. Ooh, it's, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. It smells like childhood. Like I would have had this when I was younger. Oh, it smells like a blue ice. Like if you ever had the blue Hawaii ice from Ralph's, that's what it smells like. And that used to be like my favorite ice. And it smells like Hawaii. Oh my goodness. Not that I've ever been to Hawaii, but if I ever did, I feel like it would smell like this. Love that. The brand is called Cab, which is basically their names, like initials of their names. What are you? Skincare maybe? Okay, this is a setting spray from Maven Beauty. I've never heard of them before. This is their rose water setting spray. You guys know how I feel about rose. It's not my favorite scent. Antioxidant packed rose water setting spray mist all over face. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. What's in here also? We have water, alcohol denatured, rose flower, uh, dimethicone. This is vegan and it actually says it's made by Fashion Nova, which is that clothing website. So that's pretty interesting. I didn't even know they had makeup, but I'm honestly not surprised because that's like the new thing is like the clothing websites coming out with makeup, like Shein and stuff. It's not like the strongest scent. It smells more like alcohol-y than anything, but I'm curious how this will be. I am like all about a good setting spray as long as the sprayer is good and it kind of melts my makeup in and makes everything look super fresh. So we'll see about that. This is my last product, possibly a palette. It is a palette and it is by Lime Crime. This is so funny. I was actually at Ulta the other day and I was looking at the Lime Crime palette. So this is pretty cool. This is the Venus 3 palette and I don't own any of their eyeshadow palettes. So I'm really, really excited about this. I have a lot of Lime Crime lip products, but let's see what the colors are. The front is really cool. Like I like the artwork on the packaging. It's so pretty. I love the colors in here. These are definitely colors that I would use. Take off this plus like things you guys can actually see it. We got some purples. We got some shimmery pinks in here. Love this shade and the shade Beam and Rapture. They have this like iridescent sparkle. So stunning. Follow me on Instagram if you guys want to see me create a look with these. But this is so cute. I'm very, very excited to try out my first ever Lime Crime eyeshadow palette. I think this actually was a really good box. This is definitely my favorite thing is the Venus eyeshadow palette. The lip oil, I thought that was awesome. Mascara from Too Faced, can't wait to try that. I thought this was great and also like a really, you know, well-known name brand. Let's look at the pamphlet. And just so you guys know, my box was C2103013-VA because I know you guys like to know what box number I get and if you get one similar to mine. Here's the rundown. The Lime Prime palette is $38 because it has an ultra buttery formula and the Too Faced mascara is $26. The Maven Beauty setting spray is $22. The Cab lip oil is $20 and it comes in six different tints or flavors. And the brush cleaner system is $15. The total retail value for everything was $121 a little bit lower than usual for the boxes, but I thought that everything that came inside was really good. And the theme this month is just lucky for St. Patrick's Day. Really cute. And I thought the box was really awesome. I'm very happy with everything that I got. I can definitely see myself using everything in the box. So when I can say that I would use everything in the box, I think that is a total win. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments down below if you've got your box yet. Did you get the same box as I did? It was like a little hair on my mouth and it was driving me crazy. Do you guys ever have that? It's like always have a cat hair in my mouth. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what came in my box. Definitely head over to my Instagram because I will probably be testing these out tomorrow. And thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.